And this is going to be an interesting match, guys, to see who caps mid first. Obviously, Omaha Beach is a bitch of a place, guys. It is a bitch of a place to get up off the beach as the allies. It is not impossible. It is just incredibly frustrating, and you cannot mess up in the tiniest bit. That being said, from the allied point of view, so the 82nd... 80s team pov they want to probably get this garrison up here this garrison going up here right there this garrison going up on this defend mark they got to get those three frontline garrisons going if it's Verville. hopefully it is Verville. so it's a pretty even fight um top up top there will be pretty even fights i think those are gonna be the most um dynamic and interesting places to be the middle points this point down here i'm getting the name of it um it's all right it's not the best it's not the worst it's just a giant radar dish bunker can be a little bit of a pain in the ass for the axis team to push it but uh from the ally point of view if they cap it first they're they're looking pretty good uh if the axis team caps it it's not bad yeah you know allies have a lot of houses here to work with um they, they have the southern field to work with but they got to get an early lead in the south, get a garrison up, get OPs up, and have armor on the south side, kind of giving them um, flexibility to move up this road and attack the strong point, which is here. But hopefully it is Verville. Verville, much better point. On the Axis side of things, you're going to want to get a garrison up here. Get a garrison there. Get a front door garrison somewhere around this uh, OP mark. And also, this is almost just as, like, one of the most important garrisons you could have. This uh, infantry mark garrison, those got to be the three front door garrisons. Um, I'm not sure exactly. We don't know what the points are going to be for second, second points on either side. So I can't really comment too much further of where the garrison should be. But those are the first three garrisons that need to go up in the match, period, if it's Verville. Um, likewise, if it's top, top spawn, it's a little tougher. If it's going to be, sorry, this top point here, it's going to be a little tougher for the allies because they just have this giant open field here. They could build a garrison here on this observe mark. Have a garrison on this place garrison mark over here. Uh, but elsewise, uh, they're going to have a kind of more reserved, um, you know, a bo you know, map edge garrison, guys. Map edge garrison. They, they won't be able to really push off it well if the Axis team is occupying these houses here or any of any of this road on the north side. Um, it, it's going to put the allies in a kind of a tough spot if it is top top point. Um, it's going to give a lot of opportunities to allied armor, but probably still be better for Axis armor. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, Bearville is the starting point that gives uh, the allies this use of this road uh, to quickly get into points. If it's this southern point, there are trails on the south side. I believe that the best one is right here for heavy armor. It's still not great, though. It's still kind of slow and cumbersome getting up and over that hill. But it is what it is. It's Omaha Beach. It's a great point, um, great map when you have two good teams. So what do we got here, guys? We got, uh, yeah, we got everyone. Okay, we're going to go to map flip here probably any moment now. Okay, we got artillery battery. So this is interesting. This is not too bad of a point. Uh, it's going to create some interesting fights up here for the church and some probably pretty interesting tank engagements in the southern portion here. Um, I want to see how 80 sec. Oh, wow. 80 second just a full spawn on the south. Let's see how they play this. This is going to be kind of the most interesting part of the match right here. Uh, how, how, what is their opener going to be? How are they going to get off the beach? How's this going to go down? How is this going to go down? I really think that it was a mistake to have the allies spawn on the on the boats it's just such a, so painful at the beginning of the match it is not fun at all we got one two three four five at players four sls wk and forward looks like this truck is getting in position uh, blah, 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 position and this is the the path i was talking about down here this is one of the paths i think there's actually a path you can climb right here as well in vehicles Looks like nodes going up right off the rip. Which which path is the medium tank going to take? Uh, we do have a middle sector here, though. We got Mr. Tetris. We got Mr. God here. It's going to be interesting. Uh, looks like the, uh, the Axis team is going to have a much better time of getting um, their transport vehicles, their supply trucks, their armor 
down the southern flank. So remember, guys, for this, you're going to want a garrison here as the allies. Garrison, well, maybe a little bit more towards the center of the square, but right here, garrison, here, garrison, and then the garrison map edge, probably actually behind that building, uh, will probably give you the best bet. So garrison here, then a garrison slightly higher here, and then somewhere around here, you want a garrison. We'll see what they do. Uh, like I said before, the Axe team does want to get that garrison right there in the middle. That's a beautiful garrison to have. They're going to build a garrison probably right there. And then their, I don't know what their southern edge garrison is going to be. Uh, the southern map edge garrison, I'm not sure. Probably going to be around there somewhere. All right, guys. Artillery battery. That's artillery battery right there. It's an interesting point. We're going to see a lot of interesting gunfights here. A lot of interesting gunfights. And we might be seeing some dives by armor. Heavy armor. More than usual. All right, lads. Let's see what happens. Axis Panzer IV actually hanging back? Oddly enough. No, maybe they're just getting hung up there. See any rocket snipes yet? There's all of 82nd AD coming over the ridge. You got some trucks that made it. These guys are on foot. Look at all these boys ready to launch. What do we got, boys? They're ready to launch. Rocket snipes coming in from the circle. Rocket snipes coming in from 82nd. They got an artillery barrage going on here. Just, just a little too early. They're still coming in. They're flying in. Oh my god, those almost hit. They're just seconds off. No hits. Well organized. AT rocket shots, though. But to no avail. Looks like um, one transport truck did take a rocket. 82nd kind of looking a little outnumbered here on the strong points. Axis already, already nailed, dialed in. Ooh, 82nd losing a Greyhound right off the rip. Second Greyhound probably going to go down to the same Luke's. They're about to make the same exact mistake. What are you doing? Why would you just do two in a row? What's the point? Got a couple... 80 second player is riding the Stuart. Stuart trying to shut down that map edge. Axis team with an early, early solid lead on the strong point. They got two light tanks in there. Stuart about to go up against a Panzer IV map edge. American medium tank. Nowhere to be seen yet. They're actually being very, very conservative right now. I am quite surprised to see that. A second, still getting bodies in there, but they're not winning a lot of these gunfights. Andre possibly getting a satchel on the bunker. He does get the satchel on there. That will help him out. If that squad dives into that, dives into that bunker, they're in good shape. Circle does take the point first. Satchel about to go off. Sasha goes off, picks up about four or five kills there. Eighty second, eighty still strongly on artillery battery, but German recon tank dropping off a squad leader on WN seventy one, and just, they're going to make a dive on it. Actually, Clav and Biggles ready to shut it down. Almost ready to shut it down. Biggles just trying to guard the garrison. Julo actually looking right at him. 
Oh, Biggles missing his point blank shots. What? Biggles <laughs> missing his first three shots on Julo. Julo actually shutting down the defensive garrison. X team still has the outpost up. They still have a recon tank on the strong point. Looks like Huzulu is looking to shut down that recon tank. This could be a full reset, reset from 82nd AD. This is exactly what they didn't want to have happen. Bad news for 82nd in this situation. 82nd almost halfway capped on their point. They got full fill-ins. Not forever. Doubling back to get the forward garrison up. The circle is looking to rip a second throw it out right off the rip here, guys. A second getting some more bodies back on defense. Is it going to be enough? No, my God. They're starting to cap again. They're doing their best to get in here. Oh, the rocket shot was just shy. The circle is going to go all gas, no brakes on this cap right now. Actually, surprise, Eamon and your crony. No, Eamon's redeploying to his forward garrison. 82nd just starting to defend now. And then you guys are really seeing the pain in the ass that it is to be the allies uh, in a competitive scene on this map. It is hard, guys. It is hard. Very unforgiving. But... This might be the perfect opportunity to get the circle to overextend, sap a lot of defensive bodies off the point, and make mistakes. Noah eyes on the allied medium. We got a one allied Stuart tank up here. Allied medium actually map edge looking for the Panzer IV. Uh, Panzer IV has actually been taken out, looks like, by the Allied medium tank. And as, like I just said, this is a perfect opportunity to get the circle to overextend on the attack. Like, look at they get an early dub. They have 80 seconds. I was just capping the point for a moment. They just need one of these tanks to go down. And there's a side shot into the Lukes. We might see these tanks go down. Luke's goes down. 80 seconds starts to cap. The circle over committing to the attack here. 80 seconds still capping. They're going all gas, no breaks inside strong point. We got a medium tank, allied medium tank, trying to get an angle on that Luke's. Allied medium, try to get a bead on the Lukes. Told you guys you were in for a good match, and here it is. 43, looking to get a satchel on the bunker, gets taken out. Axis bombing run. Probably not going to get many hits. Most of the allied players are in the bunker. Looks like that medium tank's looking to make a dive onto the point. Oh, it's got to pick up one spawn wave off that outpost. Enex going down. Likewise, allies calling in a bombing run. Allies are going to take this opportunity to reset this game. They're going to punish the circle for getting greedy here. Medium tank push it forward. Might be able to actually clean up. The Axis Garrison right there on the backside of the strong point. They got to clean it up. They got to clear it out. Uh, Baguette going for a satchel on the bunker, but it's actually devoid of many 82nd players. It's probably going to kill just as many friendlies, and that's not the situation you want. Julo might actually end up picking up a kill on David, Rico himself, and Plagueis. A second has to go all gas, no breaks off these OPs right now. Satchel wiping out. Like I said, just the last handful of defenders. His 
almost getting his satchel on the medium tank. Outermer actually hopping out to check for satchel. No satchel on the medium. That medium needs to get in that strong point, most likely. It's just on the edge of the strong point. It doesn't need to be in on the edge. It can pull forward about two more feet. Hold the same position, but be able to act, be more capway here. They gotta be decisive. They gotta have situational awareness. And they gotta roll forward just two feet to get the strong point. They need to be in the strong point to seal the deal. Because they'll count as nine cap weights in that, that armored tank right there. I actually don't think they're aware that there's a garrison right here. Oh, maybe it's not a garrison. Maybe it's already dead. 80 seconds. Might get the cap. Huge spawn wave. There is a gar... Oh, there is the garrison. Okay, it is on the backside. 80 seconds. Just 15 seconds away from capping. Huge spawn wave. But big already hits. But allied already... No, second allied tank in the south, 76. 80 seconds, just two seconds away from capping. Are they going to be able to stop him? 80 seconds in a classic, classic maneuver. Baits the attack on WN71, which is usually a folly. If you got a garrison on the backside, WN71, backside of the hill, you can easily hold it because that's your strong points. They have to cross this whole area. Just get to the strong point. You get one squad safely in the strong point. Really easy to cover this whole field here from those trenches. They baited a huge circle push from the north. I don't know if it was intentional, but that's how it ended up coming out. What a great start to the match here. Circle's in a very strong position to recap. They just need to get some armor up here. They got one Tiger Tank rolling forward. Eighty second actually doing a very good job of trying to gain ground off their strong point. The worst thing they could do is sit in that death box. This is a death trap here. It's great to be covered from Artie, but you got to push out, gain ground, wipe outpost, and that's exactly what they're doing right now. Seventy six on, I think, map edge area. Tiger tank being cautious, playing the hedge here. They know they got a tank in the strong point. Might not be able to identify it, but they don't know where the 76 is, most likely. Allies getting the garrison up on map edge here. This is exactly where they need the garrison. Looks like the circle is looking to deny them that garrison location, though. They're probably going to try to get their own garrison up map edge as well. Tiger tank actually probably about to get in position to side shoot that 76. 82nd AD looking to put a lot of pressure up here in the middle. They're looking to take down that garrison right there. That medium tank actually repositioned to help with the southern flank here. Tiger tank pulled up, exposing his side to the medium. Does the medium pick up the shot? Oh, medium not seeing the tiger tank. Me does not have line uh, LOS on that tiger. This is actually a hill right here. It doesn't seem like much of a hill, but just high enough of a hill to cover that tiger. Yeah, AT guns up in the back line here for 82nd, putting pressure on the tiger. Tiger is. What are they doing? Got a Panzer IV coming out and a second Tiger coming out of the field. No heavy tanks have been destroyed one way or another. Looks like the Tiger might have shots on the 76. 76 firing in turn into the Tiger. Tiger tank backing out of that. They receive the turret shot. 76 receives a hull shot. Alice trying to hit. Tiger tank might win the tank fight here. No, they whiff their second shot. 76 rolling forward looking to finish the fight. Alice repairing the tank on the move. Both tanks ricocheting off each other there. Woo. What a opener, guys.
Tiger Tank just missing a couple key shots there to finish that 76 off. 76. Likewise, both tanks. He like medium tank's gonna make best use of his final ammo and put pressure on that tiger tank. They're probably gonna look to pick up an engine shot here. Any Mormon. Andy should be calling us out to this tank crew. Holy shit, boys. Medium tank! Flank in the Tiger! Sherman, ass shots on the Tiger! Goes for the side shot, though. Does not go for the ass shot. Oh, that's a bit of a blunder there. They got it, though. They pick up the kill on the Tiger. Outimer and Mr. Cookie and Bennett Sue picking up the kill on the Tiger Tank. Panzer IV trying to assist their frontline infantry against 82nd AD. Second Tiger just getting into position to start engaging targets. This Tiger's got to have to be much more reserved than his other uh, counterpart there. They're now down in fuel. They got no fuel for a second heavy here. 75 medium hit once. 76? Being aggressive here. They know they have the advantage. Oh my goodness, guys. 76, basically a lone warrior on the southern edge here, holding off a whole lot of blueberries. Looks like Star Lord, Sir Luck, rushing in, trying to save the day. Rocket Knight's going out, hoping to pick up a kill on their garrison. Supplies coming in on the Tiger Tank. That should honestly tell the 76 where the Tiger Tank is. Those supplies are clearly not meant to set up a garrison. They would, they would already be set up at this time. That is meant to get rep stations built. That should tell the ally team where the Tiger is going to kind of post up for the next like 15-20 minutes. 76, looking to get a shot on that uh, Panzer IV that's providing infantry support to the fight here over uh, this farmhouse. 76 actually might be able to get... Oh, no, cannot get a shot on that garrison. And look how far 82nd has pushed back the Circle team. So the Circle's got to do exactly what they're doing, keeping pressure front door... But the killing blow is most likely going to come from the north here. This is, you know, you would call it the soft underbelly, but this is coming from the north, which is top, whatever. But yeah, this is the soft part of this point. It is, this is the key to it. you got to have your boys keeping pressure front door, keeping those front door garrisons up. So that's also your defense right there. This is a beautiful point for the Axis team. They're going to, it's going to allow them to defend and attack at the same time. It's also going to free a lot of guys up to go on a um, kind of an aggressive flank here. It's, it's just going to be a pretty efficient flank, but it looks like 80 seconds looking to shut that down early. They know this is going to be their weak spot up north here. And it looks like they sent two full squads to the north to shut this down. Mr. Alf actually picking up a kill on the outpost right off the rip. Remember, guys, there is a 30-minute delay, folks. 30-minute delay. Just a reminder, 30-minute delay. I will not see what's going on in chat. 276 is map edge here. P-Strike coming in on one. Precision Strike coming in on the 76. 76 not reacting at all. Hello, headphones. Headphone check. And they get nailed. 
I, you cannot go down to a P strike in a comp match like that. Headphones! This tire tank now able to go 1v1. The ally team was in such a strong position before with um with the you know advantage in armor, and now they, they nearly lost it. Now it's a 1v fight between the 76 and the tire tank. That is not the time to be going down. And they're about to lose map edge. Not lose it, but they are losing the fight, map edge. Circle is pouring in on map edge now, guys. Also, they're kicking the door open in the front door. They are probing. The circle is just probing. North, south, north, south. They are probing. They're seeing what they can bring down, what they can bring down the fastest. Medium tank called out D5. Medium tank D5. What? Is that Cookie's crew? Oh, fuck me. Sideways. It is. That starting medium not only took down, you know, helped, helped the point, took down the starting tiger. They have backed off the fight, looped around, and now is deep in the circle's back line. Looks like Mr. Smile over here. Did see the commander's in-game chat. You can see that top left. And they're gonna be he's gonna be able to receive Cookie and Crew. I think. Yes, he does see it takes out the engine. Cookie kinda expecting this. Has his gun ready. Adamer ready to hop out, defend. His tank and Mr. Smile does pick up the kill on the medium tank. What a great play. Looks like the circle front door garrison taken down by Dippy Draw and Tetris over here. Circle is kind of struggling. This is an extremely, extremely important garrison uh, for them to not lose. They got to rebuild that garrison and they got to rebuild it very quickly. That is their front door. They do have an outpost here, which is good. That should help them recover the situation, but they need to make sure their SL can at least spawn on it. Panzer IV sensing the danger here on the northern flank. That outpost does go down. Sensing the danger does move forward to provide armor support. 82nd has taken control of the cathedral at Bearville. 82nd stabilizing this uh, scary situation here on southern map edge. We do have a tank marked on flare in the strong point. That is one of the 76s. They can kind of post up a little bit now. There's going to be 19 minutes to the next precision strike. I believe actually maybe it's probably going to be about 17 minutes. I should have made notes on the clock there when that peace strike came in. I'm going to say 17 minutes from now. All right, we actually are seeing 82nd W keen up here. Panzer IV in a situation where they're forced to reverse their ass into the hedgerow. They know that allied AT can only penetrate from their rear. So they're kick they're putting their ass into the hedgerow and they're just going to pound as much HE to tie up the squad as possible. The Axis team needs to get a SL in D6 to save the situation. If they don't get an, ax, an SL to D6 soon, they're in trouble. Circle still doing very well in the center here. Actually, make it a, a push for that map edge garrison. All right, this Tiger Tank has a friend now. It's two Tiger Tanks going up against, I think the 176 right now. I could be wrong about that. Oh, second 76. 
a little further behind, but we'll be able to probably show up in time to support their friendly 76. Ooh, you can that that flare kind of tells the story here, guys. Now we got three allied SLs pushing this front door here, guys. Looks like the Axis team hoping to get a garrison up here in the north and then push south. Looks like wrap around this attacking spawn over here. I'm guessing the allies have a garrison here, maybe on the church itself. Panzer IV getting in a more advantageous position to provide uh, fire support over here. But it's kind of hard to say who's on the back foot. This is a lot of pressure. The circle is receiving. But they're not gaining any more ground yet. Tiger Tank actually moved up. Right? No, they did not. They're still playing this hedge line here. Looks like the 76 actually reposted up in the what what do you, I don't know what they're trying to do here. I don't really understand. I don't really understand. Maybe they're just pulling through. I saw them like doing something over here before, but I don't really know what the um the goal was. I don't know if they're trying to get to a hold down position. Tire tank possibly having a shot at the 76. I think they actually do have a shot in the 76. Maybe is, is that a hedge that they can penetrate through? That is! They don't know it, but they can hit that 76! They don't know it. They don't have the mark, most likely. Oh my god, they had that 76 for a moment. Seventy six actually backing up, probably unknowingly giving shots to the tire tank again. Bomber run coming right over that uh, seventy six. Seventy six possibly taking a hull shot from that bombing run. Tank marks going up. They got the marks. I don't know if they know they can shoot through that bush right there. We got actually two MGs. We got Worst Guitarist and Kender posted up. Actually, I don't even know how he got here. Looks like Kender and Worst Guitarist camping in Garrison, according to in-game chat. Uh, I believe it's that Garrison over there. Yeah, let's follow these shots here. It is... They almost had direct line of sight on this garrison.
Neither of these target tanks really trying to press their advantage. They had a temporary advantage in armor, but they stayed pretty conservative. They now have fuel for a third tiger tank. They might be, you know, after that opener, they're like, okay, whoa, we need a we need to take a moment here and we need to conserve our fuel, maybe stack three heavies and then make a play. Looks like God and Andre pushing the front door here, leading the charge, tip of the spear. God gunning down a couple blueberries. Rico also getting gunned down in turn. Lieutenant Dan almost on the garrison. He's getting close. Plegus doesn't see him. Dan gunning down Plegus. Seventy six kind of hanging back back here, man. They need to make a caster mode. Attack marks going up on the heavy tank. Probably looking to get some arty on it. Looks like a tiger tank pushing in. Sorry, wait. Yeah, tiger tank getting in position to engage that seventy six. But they are receiving a lot of pressure right here in the middle. Panzer four pushing up to the church to help clear it. No, no line of sight. No line of sight here. But, line of sight here! They don't know! They don't know! They didn't do... Oh my god! Easy side shot on... Why are they not double teaming him? Dude, the Tiger Tank lets his P4 get taken up on a 76 by himself! Where's the prep? Where's the prep? You got line of sight here! You had a P4! Side shoots 76! Tiger tank, then rolls forward here. Finish him off. Or vice versa. Nonetheless, that tank is just going to reset. They're going to get a third tiger up. But they're not really pressing the advantage um, in the sense of um, being aggressive with their tiger tanks here. They, they had armor advantage. Um, they had to hit a reset button earlier because they were down to one tiger, only 200 fuels. So they had to hit a reset button then. But, ooh, someone's going flying. Mr. Don going flying. That position should have already been figured out. Any positions like north side strong point, south side strong point, west side strong point would have already been looked into. I mean, hell, I think you can get, you can get it here. You can't get it here. Because that is a bush you can shoot through right there. That is a uh, nothing bush. And then, ding. Eighty second. Kicking in the front door almost. Look at all this 82nd AD. Easy OP, ping hot. Maybe gonna go down here soon. They're able to get one spawn wave. Wait, Cold Stot's not able to... Oh, that's a well-placed outpost. Guys, you see how far away from the actual hedge he placed the OP? A lot of people will place the OP right on the hedge. You don't want to do that. If you're fighting for the hedge, fighting to keep that hedge, you have to have it at least five meters off the hedge. Or else that's an easy wipe. That's a that's a good move by Mr. Sane who built that uh, outpost. And because he built the outpost the way he did, he was able to keep his OP up and he got a good spawn wave. And they've cleared the hedge now. They have the chance to gain ground. Looks like there was actually a guy on the garrison for a moment there. Yeah, uh, 82nd player dying on the garrison almost.
76, WK and Ford looking to seal the deal on the center push here. Lots of axis spawn waves here in this lane right here. second getting pushed back but now they're actually gaining ground again over here it is just a bloodbath for this farmhouse guys a lot of tension building on this front line here a lot of tension building in the south where is there going to be some give we got the 76 inching uh closer and closer forward here we got three Tiger Tanks in the field. All right, here it comes. Who is that guy? Who's going to be that guy to push forward first and get the first shot between these two heavy tanks? That rep station is going to be almost impossible to build there on the front line. It looks like the circle recovering here in the center, but they're kind of starting to thin out here in, sorry, in the north. Sorry, they're recovering in the north, but they are thinning out in the center. Oh, shit. No, oh, that building just wasn't rendering in. Ooh. I hate when those buildings don't render in. Or any buildings, honestly, in this game. 82nd AD actually has an opportunity from this outpost here to loop around that garrison, get a rocket snipe, and shut it down. Looks like 82nd AD answering in turn in the north here. Like, they are just not going to let him take Cathedral. They're going to lock that down. That is way too important of a church to lose. Seventy six actually moving up map edge, getting a shot on the Tiger Tank. Tiger Tank sitting there taking it. Both tanks actually sitting here taking it. 76! Getting finished by the Tiger! Never fired a second shot! I don't know what happened with that. I don't know what happened with that fight at all. It seemed like the, the 76 got first shots. Tiger tank responded in kind. Uh, 76 never fired off their second shot. Tiger tank just sat there and took it. And... One to fight. Best I could see. I see 176 there. Just northwest of the strong point. 76 taking a shot from a tiger tank northwest. It's probably not certain where he got hit from. He's got to be careful of reversing too far back. He would have got shot again. They had an angle. Huh. 
Sorry, I gotta crack my back. Ooh. Oh my god. Great match so far here, guys. Great start. We're about halfway through the match so far. Great job, both sides. Look like this Tiger Tank is about to try to get a shot on that 76. I think that 76 is basically by himself on the field here, going up against three Tiger Tanks and a Panzer IV. Oh, no, another 76 in the back line there. Ooh, shit. Shot coming in on the... Ooh, Tiger Tank going down in the back line. Uh, 76 landing a shot on the Tiger. Tiger Tank also landing a shot on the 76. Who's going to get second shot? Looks like it's going to be the Tiger Tank. No, neither. One Tiger Tank going down in the back line to a precision strike. Joyce repping his tank, pulling up and actually exposing his turret to the Tiger Tank, actually. Oh, already taking out the TC out of the 76. Bombing run incoming. Axis bombing run actually finishing up the second guy from the uh, crew. You got a very hurt 76 down two crew members. Cheers, chat. Jutsu just saving. The OPs over here on the front line. Circle increasingly getting a better position here in the middle. They're doing really well. Although now that comes at a cost. They're losing the garrison to the north. They still have OPs there, but looks like Lieutenant Dan's looking to clean it up. Gets gunned down by Chanel number 303. Or Chanel North 303. What do we got going on in the north here? It's kind of starting to fizzle out. Looks like more and more emphasis is getting put on this front door push. 45 minutes on the board. Still plenty of time. Looks like Miguet possibly getting a satchel on the 76. <laughs> 76 getting hit by another Tiger Tank. Oh, that Tiger Tank's going to be able to finish him off right here, it looks like. Or not. No, Tiger Tank not able to pick up the second shot. Allied MG bringing down that satchel guy. Did he do a proxy satchel or anything? Doesn't look like it. A lot going on here, folks. Two Tiger Tanks on the front door. Looks like we get a 76 map edge. Excuse me, 75 medium map edge. Looks like it's Romari and a Raspberry. Or Mr. Raspberry. Eighty second AD fighting for their life here in the center. Uh, just a moment ago, that was four OPs and a Tiger Tank bearing down on this front door. That's a 75 trying to land a shot on the Tiger Tank. Just barely missing. Looks like he's going to be backed up by a Stewart in a 76. We got an armor column down here in the south. Are they going to use it? It looks like they are. The 82nd AD is being very conservative with their tanks right now. They're allowing this 176 kind of just be that danger on the front line and they are maneuvering looks like a lot of tanks to the south here 
They're feeling pretty good up north here, it seems. But good enough to have all their armor in the south. There is an opportunity here for 82nd AD to defeat the Axis armor in detail. One at a time in detail and overwhelm the south to finish, you know, seal the deal in the game. 75 medium sending shots out onto the Tiger tank, I believe. I'm hearing a non 10 somewhere. It looks like somebody's got a bad, bad tank mark out on the field here. It looks like Baby Bird's got a bad tank mark. Tire tank rolling forward, one tapping the medium tank. Seventy six on strong point. Which, uh, this tire tank, kind of more on the south side here, received the first shot. Second shot. What? Why did they reverse like that? You, you got you got to angle your armor. You got to reverse out of that situation. Obviously, you're centered up with the gap. Uh, I guess this is kind of a bad spot, but I'm kind of surprised they didn't bother to use their dead carcass at all. I guess they're utilizing that repair station. Two tire tanks going down, or one tire tank going down. We now have one. Oh, P4 going down to the 76. We just had a lot of armor on the field, and they're starting to thin out here. Tire tank about to get side shots on that 76, it looks like. Uh, he might not know it. So you see the, you see the line that the barrel is on right now. He, he wouldn't be able to uh, get the shot right there. He pushes up just to the side. You got shots. Like two ships in the night, just pass each other by. Now that being said, he's got shots, but doesn't mean he'll be able to get the follow up shot. Now look at what we got going on down here. Looks like we got a Stuart tank rotated up by the heavy tank crew, possibly. Looks like we have a reset in the fight here, guys. Circle is going back to kind of having a more even spread across the board, seeing what the weak spot is, where they can make a breakthrough. Right now, kind of looking at the support or combat score. Looks like Jacko just doing a really, really good job. Jacko doing a really good job on Artie. He has almost um, a thousand CE already. Only almost not even an hour into the game, he's got over 800 CE. Uh, looks like G Coast. Likewise, 1400 CE right off the rip already. Holy shit! Hour into the game, 1400 CE. Um, and pretty average CEs on both sides. No one really running away with it. I, I would say maybe just on a quick, quick inventory. I think 80 seconds probably having the better of the gunfights. Uh, second tiger tank going down. You still have two tigers in the field, but, uh, you know, the circle, they gotta have to figure it out with armor. They gotta have to figure it out. 
They got, you know, 82nd has three heavy tanks now. Uh, mostly in the south here. Like I said at the beginning of the match, this is where all the armor fights are going to be, guys. All the armor fights. Yeah, one, two, three heavy 76s holding the line. Actually, one of them is creeping up map edge. Absolute scrap in the center here, guys. It is a just slaughter. Each team going tip for tat, trying to gain any ground. They're fighting for every fucking inch here on the front line. Every little inch is paid in blood so far. Whoa, we got a Luke's wrapping around the back line. Mr. Mayo finding the garrison. Oh, just missing that spawn wave though. Uh oh, Mayo making a play. With the flank, the solo flanking Mayo in the stu- and the Luke's. If I'm not mistaken, you can take out the Stuart from the six clock. Not pen on the ass of the Luke's. 76 cleans him up. That's that's kind of gonna set 82nd back a little bit on the south side here. I think they were only operating off of that garrison. 82nd in turn, though, does take down the Circle's Southern Garrison as well. Tiger Tank hurting. I'm not sure if it was the 76 that dealt the hit or who it was. We got one, two tiger tanks on the field. And we are seeing this, uh, I'm seeing that's a, that's the fourth one I've heard in just a few minutes. Uh, there's this thing when you're losing your ground. Your fight, you got this ebb and flow, like, say, over this section right here. As a satchel guy, if you gain a lot of ground, but you know you're about to die, dropping a satchel, uh, you know you're going to go down. You, you you drop the satchel, you go Rambo, you get gunned down. Enemy team, uh, you know, fills in that vacuum that you left. You, you're delayed satchel, wiping most of their ground, and you're just going to see that going back and forth for both teams right here in the middle. It's tit for tat, satchels, already landing, grenades tossing, rockets that's coming in. And it is just a slaughter. And Andre is just being a champ about it. So is Slavic, Winky, Enax. They're just trying to hold the fucking front door. We got about 30 minutes left on the board. We have 32 minutes almost exactly. For the Axis team to start capping midpoint to win the game. Allies, likewise, only have to hold for another 32 minutes without any cap progress on artillery battery. And they technically win the game. Like these 80 second tanks, they know that they got to shut down this garrison. They got to start getting pressure on orchards. They're doing well here. This, and they actually got the garrison in the center here now. Baby Burns lost his garrison in the center. He's looking to rebuild. But these tanks need to deal a killing blow in the south. To alleviate a lot of pressure off this point because 80 second can only do this for so long they can only do this for so long they've been at it for about 35 minutes so far on this point
they gotta deal a significant blow here in the south. That's three OPs, a garrison, and a tattoo garrisons, and a tiger tank. Chanel going for the satchel right in front of Huzulu. Oh my god, second 76 barely saving his buddy up here. Rocket shots coming in on the front of a heavy tank. Two rocket shots? That's kind of like, hey, 76, shoot my outpost I just spawned on type of deal right there. Smoke's going out, covering Ronin Satchel, but looks like Adamer's crew is not going to be fooled. Seventy-six taking shots from the AT gun, two AT guns, and a Tiger tank. Wow, beautiful AT guns built by the Circle. You guys, see the layers of walls here, and then they very cleverly built the AT gun just offset from the wall to get a lane on that seventy-six. Bombing run to save the southern map edge front door. Hitting the 76 again. Stuart tank making a dive. Colstad. How far is he gonna get? No access AT in sight. Ooh, a little rubber banding going on. Only a single AT gun and a tiger tank. There's the AT, Mr. Mayo spawning in. Stuart almost getting engined. Probably gonna get picked up with another shot here. Mayo whipping his shot. Hits the tracks or something. Colstad's gonna make good use of the Stuart. Mayo's gonna go for the uh eight. What, what is he going for? I'm not what, what uh That's a Shot on the tracks again. What do we, what, what do we do? What, what what are we doing here? I thought we were gonna see an epic play, but maybe he was a little confused himself where the spawn was. Both tiger tanks taking damage. Or sorry, both 76s taking damage, guys. Eighty second. Turn it on the gas. Taking control of the front door, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Circle completely pushed back to their strong point here. And 80 seconds just going to flood in. Uh, Axis Commander really desperate. Looking to slow down these tank crews. Uh, so he does get a successful strafe off of... Um, Three repair guys here, but is that really worth it? In the end, rep station or oh, sorry, P strike coming in. Driver's in the seat though. He's gonna back up to the garrison. P strike. It was a nice idea, but I don't think it's uh, a little late on that. And they've lost the what the fuck? They've lost now 400 munitions to kill zero tanks that was a clever idea and it's looking kind of desperate here in the south or kind of generally desperate on the front line so you got to take risks but that's going to set him back a little bit he did have a lot of munitions to do that and if it worked that would have been that would have been good but I, I my feeling is that was probably about uh, P strike was maybe about five seconds too late. And strafing run probably equally five seconds too late. They need to call in that strafing run a little earlier so they didn't get as um, much reps on that tank. And when all said and done, that tank would probably would have been dead. He must have eyes on this tank roof from somewhere. Tiger tank getting hit.
some 80 second players almost getting to the strong point here getting fairly close this is the front line the front line spans kind of diagonally right now it looks like you know 82nd bringing down another front line circle garrison all across the board here the circle is getting pushed back we got a little fight up here with the p4 trying to hold this this front line shut down 82nd Harbor gunning down the Axis SL. Eighty second AD starting to flag the Axis team's second point, starting to cap now, and that's mainly just from the south. That's mainly just from soft cap. This is soft cap here, guys. That's hard cap. This is soft cap. These four squares, soft cap, circle, hard cap. And they're capping almost exclusively off the soft cap. One good spawn wave in a strong point would probably fix that, but not a great situation any team wants to be in. Alright, guys, I gotta step away for 10 seconds and I gotta take a wicked pissa. Alright, we're back. We got 25 minutes on the board, 23 minutes for the circle to stabilize the situation and start capping artillery battery, or it will be GG's. The circle, the one thing they're doing really well here is they, they know they gotta have this garrison up. If they're continuously losing the center fight right here, they gotta have this garrison to recover the situation, or you're gonna be constantly on the back foot. This allows them, you know, as long as they got guys able to get in a strong point, this allows them to throw some bodies to have a like a J hook attack off this garrison. They can loop around, shut down the garrison, shut down most of the spawn waves, and secure the north here and the center. Now, in the south here, this is this is this is a tougher fight. These tire tanks need to start getting some tank kills. That's what it's come down to on the part of the circle. Don't mean to be mean, but they gotta start taking down some of these tanks. There's no two ways about it. They gotta figure it out. Looks like 176 did push up too far. Did get brought down by maybe a tire tank here. Sorry I had to step away to take a little potty break. And I missed that. But we still have a 76 here holding map edge. You actually have a forward garrison built. Looks like 82nd AD kind of getting stopped along this hedge line here. But that's fine. That's cap. There's no cap. The AT gun going down. Looks like there's no cap weight on the part of circle on artillery battery air. Wow. Look at all that red right there, guys. You can see it on flare. They are only about 100 meters away from the Axis strong point. If they get in that, if they, they're, oh my God, if they get past those squad leaders, that's bad news for the Axis team. Axis team actually losing the garrison up north. Look at the progress 80 seconds making. We at Spook trying to get uh, stop the push. Lieutenant Dan just completely bypassing a lot of these guys up front. The circle is just not winning enough gunfights. Looks like Baby Bird trying to stop some of the push here. Should have heard Remba is swinging on him. Eighty seconds, sending in a bombing run, looking to soften up the point, maybe pick up a garrison kill. If the circle, oh my God, look at this! Look at all these guys, just you know, trying to grind it out on the front door, hold the point, and that has bought two SLs time 
to wrap around artillery battery. Yeah, sure, Orchard's getting flagged. But Ukraine's gonna get an OP up! He got an OP up! We're gonna see a rotation to the P-Squad OP! 82nd might be overextending right now! Hellfish kind of getting hung up here in the north. How big of a spawn wave are we going to see in the back line? Ukraine getting gunned down by Huzuli. 80 seconds not letting their guard down. They're going to not let that happen too easily. Do they get the spawn wave off though? It's coming down to Huzuli. Shutting it down. Oh, thank you. Love you. Ukraine getting a spawn wave off the outpost. Oh, they trade grenade kills. But the OP goes down. Thank you, my love. That was probably the last best hope for the circle right now. That was the last best hope for the circle right here, guys. A second AD still keeping a lot of pressure on the front door there, folks. 76 looks like he's taking one shot. No, he's good. 76 is good. Two Tiger tanks versus this lone 76 in the south here. 76 actually getting hung up on the dead tank's barrel. Not able to reverse out of that situation. Colstad looking to get him a rep station built. Tire tank, maybe gonna about to get side shots here. No eyes on. No shots ringing out. No, we got shots coming out. 70 hit six, hit one time. Almost hit a second time. Where the hell did that shot come from? 76 hit again. That was tracks. No, is that hole? I can't decide. They're in a bad spot here. Actually, Tiger Tank coming in clutch by killing the carcass of that dead 76, giving space for the 76 to kind of maneuver how it wants to now. 76, although it's wounded, able to get... Oh, no, that's the backup 76. Why are they not reversing? I don't get it. These tank crews are just taking the first shot and not bothering to back up. They're just taking the second shot. They're they're hopping out, hoping to be able to get reps in in time, but they honestly gotta understand there's too many allied heavy tanks in the field to be doing stuff like that. Eighty second AD is keeping up the pressure. Looks like November Squad's OP was reset to friendly lines. Seventy six is still alive on map edge. Only one tiger now to oppose him. Second tiger coming out of the bat bottom spawn. Seventy six actually taking a side shot. That was a great shot from the circle landing that. That was a, like the probably narrowest of angles that they could have penetrated with the Panzer Shrek. Oh my God! Tiger tank coming in clutch, picking up the kill on the seventy six. Axis team has an opportunity now to gain ground. They now is no okay. No, never mind. I was about to say, there's no allied heavy armor here in the cap zone, but we got two heavy tanks 
push up the middle now. Probably upon the news of losing that uh, map edge 76, that uh, that these 76s are going to be a little conservative until they get info on the tanks. 82nd AD is keeping the pressure up on the orchards. They have it capped a little bit. They're initiating the cap. That second 70, our second tire tank coming out of bottom HQ, landing a shot in the 76. Oh, 76 reversing and turning at the same time, saving himself from getting hit a second time. Actually gonna peek the tire tank again. Oh my God, the tire tank whiffs the shot. The 76 is toying with them. Oh my God. Oh my god, they're ricocheting off the turret of the 76. What, what went down here? Oh my god, AT gun goes down. Tiger tank also going down. Dude, what took down the tiger tank? That's 76 land shots before? Snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. This tiger, the 76 crew here. About to be taken out. Does get taken out by that uh, last tiger tank. Axis team has no fuel to spawn a heavy tank. It is now... Well, they, at least they did a good job of bringing down at least uh, two of the 76s. Eighty second AD starting to stall out here on their push in May. You might see a situation where eighty second is starting to overextend, guys. Eighty second AD looks like they're not really gaining any more ground than they were gaining about ten minutes ago. But you're starting to see uh, the circle getting positions on the north and um, kind of northern center, northern center push here. I believe that garrison up north is blocking a good garrison from being built right here. I could be wrong, but could just be close enough to be. Blocking the Gary. Looks like they're going to use the Panzer IV well, and they're going to use it to clear these spawns on the south side. It's a beautiful use of the Panzer IV. They know they've taken down 276s in relatively quick succession. Unfortunately here, they um, kind of having a bad turn, but, you know, Swellboy not ready to poke his head up. He's going to stay quiet. P4 actually missing the repair station and missing the outpost here. Picking up a kill in the outpost. Oh my god, Swellboy fucking it up! Hitting the track guards on the Panzer 4. Ricocheting again! Panzer 4 not seeing the garrison that right next to him? Okay, they finally see it. They might get cleaned up by Longshanks here, though. Not getting into gear fast enough to go down! That was a good use of a Panzer IV, guys. That was a damn good use of a Panzer IV. The reason being is because um, the Allied Bazooka cannot penetrate the side or the front of the Panzer IV. So that is, that is a great use of Panzer IV. You want to use it, you know, in a kind of diving scenario. You also want to kind of use your light tanks like that. Technically, you can side pen the Lukes, the German light tank. You can side pen it, but it's a very narrow. Um, profile that you can actually land shots on and do hull damage that was a great use of the panzer four kind of kind of hit the reset button on the southern push here uh the circle is starting to regain map control of the front line and they're stalling out they're stalling out 82nd 
like I was saying about 10 minutes ago, I think 80 seconds overextending here. There's nine minutes left on the board. They're going very aggressive on uh, Orchards. And they stalled out. They stalled out for 25 straight minutes. Now, Able Squad's got an OP up. It is running hot. Dude, Hazuli doing a fantastic job of just maintaining control of the back line. Guns down. Or sorry, brings down the outpost that Not Forever placed. Not Forever almost making a big play there. Gets gunned down. Let's see if any others from the circle can make a play here in the back line. Looks like a Korean character's name uh, on the part of a circle is in the strong point. Eighty second AD doing a fantastic job of responding to some serious backline issues here. They're getting some serious spawn waves in the backline in the in the north, uh, and they're responding in kind. They know there's only eight minutes for the circle to start capping, and they're gonna shut this down early. They're gonna give ground here in the in in the center or on the front line. Um, well, let's call it let's call it the Axis teams front line uh they're gonna give ground here they don't need this ground to win the game they need this ground to win the game so they're gonna they're gonna kind of fall back they put a lot of pressure on the circle they don't need to go for second cap here uh it's a it's kind of a fool's folly to go for second cap when you have anything less than 16 minutes on the board it really is a fool's folly doing that so many games are lost in matches where you know one team who holds mid keeps pushing second points um, and they have no spatial awareness of their own cap zone. That being said, um, 82nd needs to get spawn waves in the south here. Star Lord is trying to hold this front door. They cannot just let the circle, you know, flood in. A great kill by, you know, Star Lord. Good spawn wave. If Star Lord was not here right now, you see these guys getting wiped off that garrison. 80 seconds in a lot of trouble because you can't have a free push in the south and a threat from the northeast. 80 seconds is looking a little shaky here, folks. They may have spent a little too much time. A little too much time in the front door here. These are going to be the gunfights that win the game. P-Strike coming in! Airhead coming in! Okay, so this may be one of the airheads I was talking about. Bombing run. Perfectly timed to save that airhead and for Smoke to arrive on it. Look at that. This is the stuff I was talking about with Baby Burn. These research plays. P-Strike is going to miss the 76. The 76. Here's the P-Strike. Ed bro, ready to receive the airhead. Here's the bomb run. Smells danger. And that's what I am talking about. These are researched airheads. He was able to get it through here. That's what I was saying. This is why like, I was, I was looking for these things. It's locked up by proxy by Mr. Biggles. Grenades going out. It's clear. It's open. The smoke coming in. It's been a mixture of smoke and HE rounds. 82nd AD not ready. Huge fucking spawn wave. Look at that. Half the team spawning on the airhead. Holy shit. Oh my god. 82nd is reeling. Circle, I think, capping for a moment. They're getting to the strong point, but they're kind of faltering a little bit. A couple bodies getting in the strong point. This is a mayday, mayday situation here for the circle. They got two Tiger tanks diving in. 75 medium showing up just in time to help. Holy shit! 
Look at this! Bombing run, 80 second AD bombing run. Trying to clear out a lot of the bodies. 80, the circle is starting to count for a moment. Another big spawner wave. 75 medium, gonna hit the S key. They gotta sit right here if they're gonna save that point. They gotta sit right there and just pound HE in. And it looks like that insane airhead. Oh! Tire tank also going down to the 76. The last 76. What an amazing almost last play by the circle. Airhead still open. I said at the beginning of the match, I was going to be watching some of his commander abilities. He didn't pull out too many tricks too early on. He bided his time, but that was an amazing trick right there. I think they're confused. A second AD doesn't realize it's in the building. Wait, can I go through if it went through? What an amazing airhead. Still alive. Not locked up. They can go round two on this. 75 medium. Think coast is clear. Moving away. Another huge spawn wave. Three minutes on the board for the circle to start capping. 82nd AD is not ready. That medium take rolled away. They thought the coast was clear. Oh my goodness. They don't know. They have no idea. The burst of spawn waves of all these SLs. 75 medium actually coming about again. You actually have a tank player spawning on the airhead. Oh my god, guys. What a crazy match. This is the HCA final for the minor league here. 75 medium. Coming about, looking to save the game. 82nd needs to drop a reinforce to save the point. Reinforce now would most likely save the point for the game. This 75 medium is just absolutely saving the game for 80 seconds. Airhead is down. Only one OP is up. In the strong point, though. Where what is 80 where is it where are the 82nd bodies? Looks like the 76 nails easy squads OP on the strong point. I don't know if he'll have enough time to slap down a new OP. This could have gone either way. This could have gone either way. Eighty second AD is gonna just turtle up on the strong point to seal the deal. That was such a good play by the circle. That's one of the best last, you know, twelve minute pushes I think I've ever seen in any game. Period. Thirty seconds for the circle to start capping to have a chance of winning the game. But I think it's GG's, guys. Great match. This was the final for the minor league in the HCA. And I think 82nd AD is going to have it. I think they're going to have it, guys. I think 82nd AD are going to be the next HCA minor league champions. And that's it. GG's both teams. Well done, my boys. Nice to see some of the Rangers over there on 82nd. Holding it down. Doing a fantastic job. Well done, boys. Well done.
G motherfucking G's. Great try, Circle. That was like, they almost had it. They almost had it. If that 75 medium received any AT rocket shots, they would have had it. What a great match, guys. Thank you for watching. What a wonderful match, guys. We'll be streaming after this. It should be a seamless transition for you guys. We will be streaming our normal stream after this, guys. We are... Um, it's a 30-minute delay. Don't forget, guys. GG's, everyone. Stick around. We'll be transitioning so we can talk about the match uh, afterwards and just doing our normal stream. Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed your time, make sure to check out the YouTube page. Uh, drop it a sub. We're on the way to 5,000 YouTube subs, guys. Glad to have you all. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.